and you'll find the link to that advocating the British Union in 1605. You'll find the link to that in the threads. But what I wanted to read was this bit, which is really quite poetic. And he's talking about the central argument, the argument, the bonds of union. And this is the Latin and this is the English. There is one bond and one only. The one principle to which you will rightly entrust the union is love. That's the beginning and the end and the touchstone of union. As Scalinger defines it, love is the feeling of which union is the name. Surely love is our main road leading to the union, and what's more, the surest way of preserving the union. Love being constant, the union stands firm. When love is removed, the union falls apart. That's the way it is wherever we look, even in marriage, which is the most perfect kind of union. When love is present, it lasts. Without love, it slips away. This is something we see every day. No laws, if there is no love present, can keep it from suffering harm. It is equally true that union is the road to love. This is clear from our associations with other people in everyday life, an informal sort of union, if you will, and yet it acquires significance by its influence on our affection for them. Similarly, justice is also the bond of love, equality the principle that gives life to justice, and sincerity or candor, the link that holds everything together without which there is neither love nor justice nor equality. These are the things which people want what they are attracted by, which their loyalty is secured by for whatever needs doing. It's all like that. It's all like that. It's the most incredible document. 